Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my favorite bronze and nudes for chocolate girls like me. I know a couple years ago if you were looking for the perfect nude, if you had the complexion like mine, you probably couldn't find it. But now on the market there are so many different nudes and bronze for chocolate drops. So I'm going to get into some swatches. I'm going to tell you about some mattes, some liquid mattes, some regular matte lipsticks, glosses and also what line you can pair them with. So let's get to it. talk a little bit about the swatches that I just that you just saw so here are all the lippies that I just swatched for you and I've taken some time to accumulate these nudes um, and browns so I'm gonna go through them one by one so the first one I used was the soft matte lip cream by NYX in the shade London and I really really love this this is very inexpensive. I'm thinking it's about $3.50. NYX is a very, very affordable brand. You can get it at Ulta. Um, you can get it at Target. So, you know, drugstore and Ulta, which is mm, semi-high-end. Um, I really like this because it is weightless. So you don't feel it on your lips at all. And just to mention, I did use uh, NYX liners. Um, before I put on all of the shades, I used... Um, brown by NYX and also Espresso. So those were the liners that I used before I put on all of these lipsticks. Um, and I usually do wear a brown liner with my nude lips. I don't really like how nudes look without liner. Um, only if you can find your exact shade. So I would say photo when we get to that one. I don't think I needed a liner for that because that's like the exact shade of my skin. Now the second one is also by NYX and this is a liquid suede. So NYX came out with another type of liquid lip called liquid suede and this is in the color sandstorm. I also really like this one. Now it's not as lightweight as a soft matte lip cream, but it gets more matte. So it looks more like a matte liquid lip. This one is a go-to for me. I usually use it in combination with other lipsticks. Uh, rarely do I wear one lip color on my lip. I like to do lip combos. So I usually would probably put Frederic on first, then put this in the center, then add a gloss. Yeah, it's a whole like, yeah, it's a whole lip recipe. You dig? The third one is this by ColourPop. The name and everything has been rubbed away because I got this a while ago. This is called Beeper and I like Beeper. It's kind of a pinky nude. Um, 
I gravitate to this a lot like when I'm feeling very like pinky like if I have pink eyeshadow on I would definitely do a nude like this if you want more of a pinky nude I would definitely recommend this Colourpop matte liquid lipsticks excuse me ultra matte liquid lips are super drying okay super dry super drying so definitely put on your aquaphor before you put this on it does feel dry it's only six dollars but you could feel it if you have an issue with that then this may not be the liquid lip for you but if you just want to try out something new I mean, no regrets. It's just $6. The fourth one is from Anastasia Belty Hills. I have been eyeing this liquid lip since it came out. The name of it is Sepia. They also have a Sepia gloss. I haven't got my hands on that just yet. This is probably the dupe to the lip I have on right now in liquid form. I really, really love this. It's like a grayish... But not so much gray. I mean, it is gray a little, but not really. So I don't think I would even characterize it as a gray nude. But it's definitely on the creamer side. Um, yeah, it's like a true nude for a chocolate drop. Yes. So Anastasia did well with this one. This does retail for $20, so it is more on the higher end side. But the feel of this is amazing. I guess you know why you paid six for one and 20 for the other. You don't feel this on your lip. It dries very quickly and it doesn't feel like you have anything on. Also, it lasts pretty long. Now we have Colored Rain. I think Colored Rain is my favorite um, liquid lip brand. Actually, they have eyeshadows and stuff now. But in terms of liquid lips, this is my ultimate favorite formula. It's like a cream matte. So even though it's creamy, it dries completely matte. But it feels amazing on your lips. And the color selections from, from Colored Rain are amazing. They have every color under the sun. Actually, my very favorite red is from them, Cherry Blossom. Yes, I'll be filming a look with that shortly, so stay tuned. But yeah, back to this. This is called Truffle Rain. And this brown is kind of orangey, just a little bit. Um, and I really like it. It's different. It's a different kind of brown. I don't think many companies have a brown like this in their collection. So Colored Rain, kudos for creating this. And then we want to move on to Frederic. Now, I love this. This is a... Ooh, gotta take a moment. This brown is amazing. Don't tell me anything about Kylie True Brown K. It is not a dupe. This is a true chocolate drop brown. Do you hear me? This is a chocolate drop brown. It's so deep and dark. It's like dark chocolate. It's amazing on the lips. I love it. The feel. It's very drying. It's very drying on your lips. Now, I remember this is from Lena Lashes, and I think I got these for $5. At one point, she was having a sale every week, and I picked this up. I would recommend it if you want that really dark chocolate brown. Let me tell you, and this is not just for the fall. Summertime, pop it. I wore this in the summer. It's amazing. It's just nice to switch it up. However, the feel of this is not that great. So, you know, if you are, um, if you have an issue with the feel of the lips, then this might not be what you want, but I would still recommend to try it. You know, you can be the judge. I'm not sure what the price is right now, but I will be putting all these links in the description below so you'll be able to see how much it costs right now. Then, we have a little bullet from MAC. You probably have not seen one of these in a tutorial or in a lip swatch video in forever because nobody wears like regular lipstick anymore. Okay, that's a lie. I wear regular lipstick all the time. I still love MAC lipstick. Like, they would always be my favorite. First of all, I love this smell. It smells kind of, I can't even describe how it smells, but I love it. And also, I love the whole bullet idea. It's so cute. So this is Photo, and Photo is the same color of my, of my skin. So if you were really thinking about nude, this is my true nude. Like, this shade is my nude. 
Um, so that's why I had to pick this up. I can't even remember how long ago. A good while ago I bought this from MAC. But the thing is, it's not matte. And it's a satin finish. Um, I like all the finishes from MAC. Like matte, satin, frost, you name it. I love them all. So yeah, true nude for me. And then last but not least, in the lip department, is Styled in Sepia. And this is what I have on my lips right now. Okay, so don't be angry at me, please. This is limited edition. I'm so sorry. It's limited edition. I was hoping that MAC would bring it back, but I don't think they're gonna bring it back. I mean, we could start a petition. I would be like the spearhead of this petition because this is my favorite nude lipstick of all time. Favorite. I remember I used to work at Macy's and um, one of my coworkers, she had it on one day. She was a little lighter than me. And I looked at her and I was like, oh my God, what is that? And she told me what it was. And since we worked at Macy's, you know, we got a discount. Yes, 40%. So I was able to buy it on sale. And honestly, I should have bought like five of them. I only bought one. I'm kind of sad because is this gonna, is this gonna last me the rest of my life? Listen, you will have to. Because I don't know if Mac is gonna bring this shade back. But you know what? Hmm, maybe I could reverse engineer it. <laughs> This is really my most favorite nude. Um, I would say in terms of dupe, like I said before, Sepia is definitely a good dupe for it, but it's a liquid lipstick. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna search for a good dupe for this. And I will let you guys know once I find a good dupe for it since it is limited edition. Okay, so onto the glosses. I used four glosses in this tutorial. And the first one, that I'm gonna talk about is Oyster Girl by MAC, which is a lip glass. Now, I love the lip glass formula from MAC. As you can tell, I love a lot of stuff. I'm sorry if I'm overusing that word. What other word can I use? I appreciate the MAC lip glass. Why, you ask? Because it is very, very sticky. And I love sticky gloss. It's not good when you're kissing, you know, if you do that kind of stuff. But it is really, you know, I love the feel of it. I love that sticky feel and also I love the look of it. The look of a sticky gloss to me is like, yes, kiss me or bite me. I use this as a topper all the time. I've never used it by itself because I think it would make my lips look white. But whenever I have nude and I'm feeling to go for that more silvery sheen, I would use this. Then we have another lip glass which I've had for a while called Nymphette. Now, one of my friends, Samantha, hey boo, she had this lip glass and I was like, oh, what is that? And she told me what it was and I had to have it. So it's a pink, but it has gold reflex in it. So when I'm looking for that nudie pink with gold, I usually put this on top of my nudes. Then we have Gilded by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've also been eyeing this one for a while. It's a gold lip gloss. I mean, Need I say more? Gold lip gloss. Yes, I know, right? Amazing, we've been waiting for this. So yeah, I put this over my nudes as well. And then last but not least, this is an NYX Mega Shine lip gloss and it's in the shade Sugar Pie. So actually Makeup Shayla was the person I saw with this and her lips look amazing. I can't remember the nude she had on below it, but I did remember the gloss. So I went and I picked it up and I actually do love this. This is like a pink with silver, but it's more pink. So whereas Oyster Girl is more silvery, this one I would say is a little bit more pink. And also, NYX has the best glosses. The feel of this is so smooth and hydrating. Talk about hydrating your lips. Amazing feel. So for instance, if you had put that dry ass Colourpop lipstick on, you could put this on top of it and that might alleviate some of the dryness for sure while still looking good. Yeah, so I am so happy that you stayed until the end of this video. If you have any other news for brown skin girls, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear about them because, you know, even though I showed you these, I have lots more, but I wanted to choose some of my very favorites. 
and I'm sure there's some that I probably never heard of before so please let me know if there are any that you love and maybe I could try them out myself but yeah thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye <laughs> I can reverse engineer it oh. for my own company so you save it until you get your company and then yeah but isn't that stealing? No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, this is not proprietary. They don't have a patent or anything on this. Really? No. Not the color. Mm. You can reverse engineer the color.